Hi guys, good to see you again. Today you will learn some close vocabulary. I divided today's vocabulary into seven categories. Tops, bottoms, underwear, outerwear, hats, shoes and accessories. Let's start with tops. Blouse, shirt, t-shirt, polo shirt, pullover, waistcoat, dress. This part of a shirt is called a collar. This is a sleeve and this is a cuff. Let's move on to bottoms. Jeans, trousers, shorts, jumpsuit, dungarees, skirt. This part is called a leg and here we have a fly. The next category is underwear. Bra, briefs, boxer shorts, socks, vest, tights, long johns. And now let's move on to outerwear. Cape, poncho, wind cheetah, trench coat, leather jacket. Let's move on to hats. Balaclava, beret, felt hat, Panama hat, beanie, cap, turban. This part of a hat is called a brim, and the top part of a hat is called a crown. The next category is shoes. Trainers, moccasins, sandals, flip-flops, pumps, slip-ons, wellies, boots. And our last category is accessories. Belt, braces, tie, Bow tie, gloves, mittens, scarf. This whole part here is called a buckle and this long sharp part is called a prong. And now that you've learned some clothes vocabulary, I would like to talk about three confusing verbs that are used with clothes. And those are match, fit and suit. We use match when something looks the same as or very similar to something else. This green dress matches your eyes. Your outfits match perfectly. You're both wearing white t-shirts and white shorts. We use fit when something is the right size. Wearing shoes that don't fit is never a good idea. I'm sorry, this dress doesn't fit you, it's not your size. And we use suit when something looks good on someone. Wow, this top really suits you. This hairstyle doesn't suit him, he shouldn't have dyed his hair. Watch this playlist to learn more English vocabulary. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!